Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Man 8 today and today we've got two superhero Dysons in in on the road today for a head-on um, versus video and a close look at each one of them as well separately. No we need foul. No we need foul if we need foul. The first one we got was the first generation of the uh, the motorhead. The motorhead was basically Dyson's first versions of their motorized heads which they use on their um, handhelds. Not switching that one on yet, mate. No, no. This and one's got this one's got this. What's got such a knee? And this one's not got a such a knee. Right, okay. So the first one we have is the top of the line DCO5 motorhead. Now these actually are getting harder and sure. harder to get get yeah, it's alright. Are actually getting harder and harder to get hold of now, actually in working order. This one, we did we bought this one in one of our first videos we did for YouTube, and this one has a Panasonic, a this one features a Panasonic motor. Um which, which when we first had it didn't work and also uh it had problems with the uh the cable. Uh, it's now got the correct DCO5 cable which um, our visit to Manchester Vax, um, we managed to get one out of him, um, which is ideal, and it's actually saved this machine. Um, so yeah, if you closer look at this one, this one is a DCO5 motorhead. Um, I'm going to try and find the watch. It's got like a clear body to it. It's one of their best looking machines ever. So it's clear, like it's totally clear inside here. Yeah. You can see everything. So this one has a 1250 watt motor in it. Now, the actual head part of it, these are very, like a DCO one, are very, very fragile as well. The plastic gets quite brittle. And this head here has a 60 watt power head. And Carl's now going to demonstrate some of the functions which this one does. Okay. Right, I'm sure now. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, that valve's jammed. The valve jammed. Right, this one has a handle operation. So you can switch oh. the machine on. Dad, move that hose. All right. The hose goes to your hoses. All right, okay. This is also a Zorster machine, which is basically the cylinder version of the DCO4 Zorster, which is a highly iconic Dyson uh, upright, really. Valve, valve's gone. So the valve is jammed on that one. That doesn't matter about that. We don't worry about it. But this has got a handle operation. So that is normal. That fires up to the head. And that bit there, is it very much like the DCO4? It grew. This is designed for grooming in. Um, Don't turn it to Norna. The zoo. The, the zoo I'm parent. selling the house as it's Norna. Go on then. That's normal. That's that's all. That's grooming. That's a show. So. That's that one there, and I think this one was made in the UK because it came out on the early 2000s. Malaysia. Is it Malaysia? Uh, no, it's the UK, you yeah. know. In, in the UK, it's the Malaysia. Yeah, in the purple diesel store, and I'm keen with a bit of purple. Yeah. That one came in the UK too. Yeah. So some of them were made in Malaysia and some were made in the UK. I think this one says it's made in the UK. Yeah, that one's made in Molesbury, yeah, that's made at the... Because basically Dyson outgrew the factory. There's a cable guy, look. Right. So I'm going to show guys what the cable looks like when it spins. You can actually see inside this machine. Um, I'm actually after a, another casing for this one, actually, to com just complete it, really. It's got a cat right there. Yeah, I know. But that's, that's how it was when we first had it. So if Carl now puts this one back ready, and we'll get on with the next machine. The next one we got 
is the DC23 motor head. Now we shot this video actually before I actually give it the deep clean. Now this one it is made in Malaysia and has a 14 watt, 1400 watts motor and the power head which is very much like an 18 or a stroke 15 in size. This has a 100 watt one. Now if you turn the beast on, this one is a very... Turn it on! So this one has is slightly different because it's... If Carl quickly demonstrates how you use this one. So you switch it on the machine. So this one, we've actually done it. We're actually doing this. Uh, we're actually going to do this dirt pickup test um, side by side. And in fact, these are actually go, 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 go. two of the best. He actually did a 21, which was about the size of a DC 19, but had the same head configuration. Why DC 21? Yeah, they do a TC21, which has, is just a smaller version of this one. But um, we're actually going to see how well the first generation will work. No, I, I, see, I, see, the size, with, I see the size is better. It's got a, a gimme sensor. Yeah, I know, but for, 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 for dirt pickup, mind you, because that one has more functions, we're just going to see which one actually does the best job on the carpet. So what we're going to do now, we're going to set up some dirt again and we're actually going to... Uh, I need my Happy Meal! And we're going to sort this out. And Cole's going to eat his Happy Meal. Well, I've put some Hoover food down on the carpet. Um, like I say, these are two top of the line... We have to turn on kick me. Two of the best um, cylinder vacuum studs I've ever made. Turn on! So we're just going to do one pass and see what happens with this one. I have to turn it to carpet. Come on then. You have to get those single wire now. Okay. No? No, that's... One pass, mate. Very long. Well. One pass. Yeah, that's enough, mate. Turn it off. Set that one back. Yeah, it's a bit awkward for him. And it's got the sipping sauce, pizza. And as you can see, look. It's, abs it's actually groomed the rug. So this has a 60 watt head and it's a slightly smaller head but it just doesn't sound as powerful as the other one. But as you can see look, the dual cyclone's done really well with it. So the next one we're going to do oops, is the beast. Is this DC23 motor head and we're going to have one pass right to the front and back. Oh, we're going to do the hair. Good <laughs> enough, mate. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I've, as you can see, like, you can see the line. It's missed a few bits, this one, look. But I think it's because I'll put a bit more dirt here. But. This one has groomed it better than the other one, but I think this one's done a slightly better job of it. So Carl's now just going to finish off the half of the rope with a uh, DC5. So, oh, so. Okay, Yeah, it's done a really good job here. I mean, you did miss that because you never vacuumed there. Do it now. Go on then. Ow. It's a bit awkward. Okay. As you can see, look. 
but this one here, you can see exactly what it's picked up, and it's done really, really well. Now we're going to do the DC23 motor head, the second generation of the motor head. I'll have to cut the bits over there a lot, I'm not being piggy. Do this bit here a lot again. Just do this bit, just do it. Yeah. 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 Well, as you can see now, I think this one has lifted the pole up slightly more than that one has. But there ain't much in it, I, I do believe, I think this one does a slightly better job overall. But the thing with this one is, this head is nice and lightweight, while this one is almost like picking up, if you've ever took a DC25 um, head off, it's about the same weight as that, it's very, very no. heavy. No, it's not, it's the same, it's the same heady as a... Uh Take one of those concept every concept one apart. All right. And head of those. It's a bus bar on that one, and it's a red bus bar on there. So they're both done a really good job. Like I say, uh, if I was going to buy one, personally, I I do believe this. Uh, one... This one's got super buses, Dad. See all this. No, they're softer. They're slightly softer, they are. Right, they're a bit stiff. Are they? A bit stiff they're... on them. Ah, right. The, all, all the other ones have been news. They're soft, and these are a bit stiff. So, they've both done a really, really good job on the carpet. I just think this one's groomed it slightly better, if you like your, uh, if you like your furniture groomed, but it's a lot heavier. This one, you could actually use on two levels. This one would be ideal for a bungalow. Or, or or somebody who lives in a somebody who lives in a one level apartment or something like that or hey, flat. Hey look. Hey look. This one has a this one has a longer hose on it, doesn't it, Kyle? Than the DC05. No, the hose goes in there. Yeah, but it's still slightly longer. You can see it's longer. Hey, hey look. Come on then. Guys, they've got the vacuum pole there. Right. And on the other side, they've got the electric pole. Yeah, it's got its own little channel for that. So if they go wrong, you literally have to, have to buy a new pole, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's got it's got two different bits. That's it. You see this outside here? See that? That's the network. They must be spring. They must they must be like coiled or something then. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to see it, some more of the DC05 motor head, um, we've got a few videos of this one. It is a really, really good machine. If you do collect vacuums and you have a chance to get a DC05 motor head, I would recommend anybody to have one because they are. I still so think. you've got a pipe ball in there. It is. As you can see, this one is a 2000 machine. And it's done really good well and, it, and it's a used machine as well it's been new well used and it's still done a brilliant job on grooming and deep cleaning the rugs and this one like i said has got a slightly wider track um if you're like not a little old lady I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that one for a little old lady to add because um, it is So I would recommend, I mean they both are really good, but this one's a lot lighter and a lot more compact than that one. This one does fall hey. away in a coil. Hey, you see? Go on in. You see? Uh, so there's the motor right there and there. Yeah. And you can see the motor, guys. 
I mean, I think the last Come time he used summer. it, he used, used it for, he uses this one quite a lot, really. And you see that you can't see it right there, the motor? Yeah, you can do, yeah. And that, and that one, you can't see it in the wheels. No, yeah, because the motor is on the side, isn't it? That one's in on that way, vertical, and the other one's the other way, isn't it? It goes that way? Yeah. The other one sits in the wheel that way. So what do you say now, Kyle? There are no motors in there. Yeah. So what do you say now, Kyle? Bye, Lara! And um, please subscribe to Vacuum Addict and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video because we've enjoyed doing this one. Just doing, just interesting to see which one actually works better. That's a valve! So there ain't much in it. Got Goodbye a valve right now. there.